Hello and welcome back to my Skyrim Let's Play. Thank you guys so much for returning. This is part 5 of chapter 1. And as you can see... Wait, no. Gosh. Not even 20 seconds in and I'm already messing up. Um, this is part 6. Part 5 is before this. Fain but anyways... Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. I didn't ask. Okay, so, um, yeah, as you can see, we are back at Riverwood in the right Sleeping on. Giant Inn. Um, I finally made it back around a a four in the morning. Right and, um, I purchased a room, had a good night's sleep. Dolphine was in there watching me sleep. What happened? Why am I... What just happened? So, yeah. Had a good sleep in there. Dolphin's still... Being weird. Um, woke up. I read that book. Well, first. I had to sleep for a long time. I mean, it's already 10 in the afternoon. I have to sleep through the entire day. And... So now I bought a bunch of food, bought my breakfast and everything from Orgnar here. Um, I got permission to actually use Take this. what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. That's good, actually. I need to talk to him. And on my way back in, you know, around four in the morning, God, watch over your battles, friend. I realized something. Um, I am in way over my head. You know, there was a storm cloak patrol going through. Riverwood, and I tried to avoid, largely in part to the fact that I was wearing, well, Imperial Legion armor. Now, I don't know if the specific rebels would have attacked me, like the ones in Helgen did, but I decided it best not to attract attention. And so, with that, I've decided that I can't wear that armor. It's... It's an internal conflict that's been raging in me ever since I first landed on that wagon. You know, with my father being Imperial and my mother Nord, having been born, raised, and taught as an Imperial, but praying, fighting, working, growing up as a Nord, per se. I don't know how to describe it, but definitely having a conflict of interests. And honestly, it's just barely sinking in exactly what happened at Helgen with, you know, the whole dragon attack, but even that, just having to fight kinsmen. I never grew up around a lot of Nords, you know, fellow Nords, but there's just something about it. And beyond that, you know, just drawing a man's blood for yourself it's not something you can easily wave off you know I am a murderer now <coughs> I have killed and I've spilt 
not only blood, but blood of kinsmen, blood of Nord. Yeah. Blood of friends, what is that? Hold on, I want to check this out. Um, Taxia. Oh, I'm guessing that's it. And so, I've decided that for now at least I am staying out of the Civil War. <laughs> it's just too conflicting. My heart belongs in two places, and those two places are currently fighting over the future of Skyrim. So I'm going to be staying away from that, which means that I also can't afford to wear Imperial Legion armor anymore. I will be keeping it around just as kind of an heirloom, maybe. I might end up having to sell it, seeing as I don't actually have anywhere to really keep it. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. I do need to talk to you. <sighs> don't leave. But beyond that, we need a new look. And I've decided that um, I'm just gonna wear simple clothes. These gloves and boots will help keep me warm. They're fur-lined and everything, so I'll be nice and toasty with them. And beyond that, I've decided I'm not doing this. You know, I am a farmer. I came here to start up my own shop, invest in blacksmithing, and, oops, sorry about that, that was my knuckles. I gotta do both hands. Okay, so, I came up here, I don't know why I keep saying down, but I came up here to start my own shop. To earn enough money to move my parents up, to take care of them, and to just settle down and have my own life. No. And I just can't do this. I'm not made for it. I'm not built for it. The only reason I've gotten this far is because Dad, who again was ex-Legion, would oftentimes take me out hunting. And so I learned how to use the bow. You know, to some degree at least. Which reminds me, I also shot an elk on my way back in that I need to go collect. Assuming no one else has got it. But, you know, going through, maybe it was the dragon attack, or, you know, just being up there in the mountains in the cold, wearing armor, not worrying about my life. While I take those of others, the lives of others, you know, when I got that claw adrenaline, my mind just, it wasn't clear. And so I've decided that it's just not for me. You know, just... I am not a warrior, I am not a soldier, I am not a fighter, I am not a mercenary, or anything of that you sort. You look worse than I feel. I had a very rough night, and so, with this newfound knowledge, you know, I am 
going to pursue my original actions, my original course for coming here before being caught in that ambush. And I am going to pursue life as a blacksmith, I'm going to get money as a merchant, and I am going to have a nice, quiet life away from all of this. You know, going into that burrow, seeing those jogger, fighting them, you know, barely surviving by the skin of my teeth, and then that weird wall thing at the end that almost seemed like it was calling to me, shouting, you know, come here. I, it's just not for me. However, that being said, I do owe debts to Hadvar and in extension his family in Alvor who was offered to teach me the trade of blacksmithing. And so... It is late again, and I'm going to sleep. You're that visitor, Ben. Are you joking? You just rented a room from me. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and wake up at... F like, seven. So actually, I You're need to use that. Been poking around. So I'm going to go talk to Alvor. And again, I'm I do. Keeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. Get a lot of travelers here in the river world. So we are gonna head out, talk to Alvor. Oh. Mm hmm. This better be good. I'm just. Oh yes, we also got the claw, so we're gonna return that and sell some things. You have the claw. Oh, you have to tell Lucan at once. Hurry! You're back from Bleak Falls. Did yeah. you find anything? Well, something you might be interested in specifically. You found it! <laughs> there it is! Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm going to put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Thank you. 400 gold. Honestly, this is going to go by faster than I thought. Okay, so... Thank you. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Um, let's sell this. And... Stormcloak. So the garnet. You know, I said I would keep these, but honestly, I just don't have anywhere to keep them. So that. One of those. I feel like I could do a little more with that. So. 
Hold on. Oh yes, so sell all those potions that I made. We'll keep five. So what's that ancient Nordic axe? Why am I even bothering? That kind of looks just silly, to be quite honest. So one of those. I did read that, um, What's it called? Thank you so much. Mm. Can I use this? Yeah. I've asked enough of you already. Thank you. For the money and whatnot. So. <laughs> I'm gonna go steal Alvor's fire. I think he's got a pot, doesn't he? Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. Make yourself at home. Just Going follow here. the road north. When you get to Hunting Brew Meadery, turn left <sighs> and the road will take you to the city gates. It's not far. We used to go to the market there every month or so until the roads got so dangerous with the war and all. <sighs> See, that's one of the reasons I don't want to get involved with it. What do you think I about it? I just hope the war doesn't come to Riverwood. There's enough trouble in the world without those storm cloaks stirring up more. A very imperial family. Until next time. Having some Nords, you know, I'm going to take the spread. Now, I might actually want to... Um, beyond this, why would I want to turn spring water into whatever you need? My smear, if it's simple and strong, I can forge it. You looking That's for what a I new need blade? To talk to you about. Um, what do you people think about? Rightly it? stirred up about the damn Talmor being allowed to roam around arresting people, just for worshiping Talos. But was it worth tearing Skyrim apart and maybe destroying the Empire? No, Ulfric will have a lot to answer for in the end. Nords have always supported the Empire. And the Empire has always been good for Skyrim. Why are the Thalmor allowed to arrest people for worshipping Talos? That is a good question. It's from that treaty that ended the Great War, remember? When the Emperor was forced by the Thalmor to outlaw Talos worship. The White Gold. We didn't pay much attention to it when I was a boy. Everyone still had their little shrine to Talos. But then, Ulfric and his sons of Skyrim started agitating about it. And sure enough, the Emperor had to crack down, dragging people off in the middle of the night. One of the main causes of this war, if you ask me. The Thamol are the minion faction, aren't they? All right, then. It's nice to be back in a friendly spot, huh? Agreed. Keep your guard up. Who are those other prisoners? Well, you didn't know? That was Ulfric Stormcloak and his top lieutenants. I knew that. Um... I don't pay much attention. 
Well, I just don't pay attention to Skyrim's current events. I just got here. He's a traitor. He's a traitor. Right. The leader of the Stormcloaks. They claim to be fighting for Skyrim's freedom. But the war is really all about Ulfric wanting to be High King of Skyrim. Ooh, I'm hungry. You haven't heard of the civil war in Skyrim? I guess down in Cyrodiil, people have other things to worry about. It's pretty simple. Ulfric founded the Stormcloaks years ago, as a sort of private army to advance his ambitions. He's always used the ban on the warship of Talos to stir people up against the Empire. He never succeeded in getting much support, so a few months ago he murdered the High King. That got the Empire's attention. Murdered? How did you capture him? A masterstroke by General Tullius. He's only been in charge here for a few months, but he's turned things around for the Empire. We've been trying to catch Ulfric since the war started, but he always seemed to slip through our fingers, like he knew we were coming. This time, the General turned the tables on him. Ulfric rode right into our ambush with only a few bodyguards. He surrendered pretty meekly too. So much for his death or glory reputation. I thought we were taking Ulfric back to Cyrodiil, but I guess the General changed his mind. You know the rest. Why is the worship of Talos bad? I guess that wasn't such a big deal elsewhere in the Empire, but here it's caused a lot of resentment. Native son and all that. Even I'll admit it hasn't been the Empire's finest hour. But it wasn't like the Emperor had any choice, did he? If he hadn't signed the peace treaty with the Thalmor, they would have destroyed the Empire. And where would Skyrim be? That's the part that Ulfric's supporters always conveniently forget about. Unless the Empire stands together, the Thalmor would destroy us all. How do I join the Legion? General Tullius has his headquarters in Castle Dower, in the city of Solitude, northwest of here. You'll want to talk to Legate Ricker. She deals with the new recruits. I'll be sure to put in a good word for you if I get back to Solitude first. I bet you will, because I'm probably not heading that way. But, while we're on the topic of Helgen and everything, I thought the dragons were all dead. So did I. If the damn Stormcloak somehow found one, or woke it up, the war might be about to take an ugly turn. Hard to believe it was just a coincidence that the first dragon anyone seen for centuries attacks just as Ulfric was about to be executed. That is a good point. Be careful on the way to Solitude. Damn Stormcloaks could be anywhere. I appreciate everything, Hadwar, but honestly, I don't think I'm going to Solitude. At least not anytime soon. For now, I will repay my debt. Inform the Yarl. What you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. <laughs> Not too shabby. Apprentice level work, but solid. Keep at it. <laughs> oh, I'm liking you. Fur plate. What's that? Large foot and bed.
You wouldn't happen to have any. Whatever you need. Buy this smear if it's simple and strong. I can forge it. Need any help around here? Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. Help yourself to whatever you need. Within reason. Oh, honestly, mate, you just saved me so much. Ah, I forget you're new to Skyrim. Jarl Ellison, I should say. Although only because he was married to Jarl Torig, when he was murdered. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. You looking for a new blade? Not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Yeah, right away. Mm-hmm. Oh, I could use a nap. What? God, watch over your battles, friend. I've sharpened the dagger. This looks good. You put time into your blades. They'll serve you well. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Until next time. Um, do I want to do this? She could regenerate 12% faster. I don't really use magic. Take what you need. Whatever you need. My easy. Ah, good. A lot. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. So a hide helmet. Hi. You looking for a new blade? Here's the helmet. Huh. I should hire you to be my assistant at this rate. <laughs> Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. Until next time. Iron or steel. I could forge you a war hammer that would crush a giant's head like a walnut. I've tempered the helmet. You have talent. Keep working at your craft. 
and you'll be a fine smith one day. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? Maybe you'll remember me when you're making Skyforge steel, huh? I think I will. Until next time. Thank you so much, Alva. You the sneaky type? Got some nice daggers around here somewhere. So I shot an elk around here. Yep. It's probably all sour now. So, I think now is a good time as any. Let's level up. Um, let's do stamina. Leveled up twice. Let's do stamina again. And health. So I've got three perk points now. So... Go ahead and get that. Honestly, I think that's good for now. And so we can't obviously go. I mean, you heard them. There are. All manner of creatures and the Civil War and everything what lie beyond. Are you feeling Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose? Shush. For a Nord village? <clears throat> What's your problem with Sven? He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. <laughs> you hope? You don't sound very sure. I've been thinking. Maybe Camilla needs a little help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you... Could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. What? Um. Mm hmm. Until next time. It's, you just. Who do they think I am? I'm sorry, I can't support that. <sighs> so... You look like a traveler. Someone that has seen faraway places and heard new stories. Um... If those stories are from Cyrodiil, maybe. You know... Oh, that is true. I heard him talking with his mother, whatever. There was a dragon in Hogan. Truly? So maybe my mother isn't crazy after all. You had best tell the Jarl in Whiterun. He needs to know about this. Don't worry. I am on my way as we speak. Uh, Fendel wanted me to deliver this letter. <sighs> what is this? The elf playing a treachery? Shocking. As if I would write this dribble. How about we play a bit of a turnabout with Fendel? Here, I had to use simple words, but this letter should convince Camilla it's from him. Oh. All right then. I was hoping you'd be better than this. Camilla, she seems like such a sweet girl. Doesn't deserve such pe 
pitiful examples of maleness. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. It's a fine day with you around. <sighs> Sven wanted to trick you into believing this letter. Can I not? Oh, okay, so that is the option of their book. What both are you talking bad. about? Well, what's in the letter? Oh my. He he wanted me to think Fandal wrote this? Thank you for telling me the truth. Could you talk to Fandal as well? I'm sure he'll want to thank you for standing up for him. Fandal. You're not from around here. I came here from the Imperial province to work with my brother Lucan. Oh. I came from Cyrodiil to start my own trade It got house. bad back in Cyrodiil. I came to Skyrim looking for a better life. Wow. She's like a female me. I just want to find a good husband and start a family of my own. Okay, a little less like me. Sfindal. Did you really see a dragon? We're a small village, but we work hard and take care of our own. I... Tell me as soon as you've given Camilla the letter. I don't think she'll be spending any more time. I appreciate so... your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. I can't All help right, but feel a little used here. Let's get some wood. So Feindel wanted me to lie and convince Camilla that Sven wrote a letter, and then Sven tried to convince Camilla that Feindel had wrote a letter, and in the end I ended up helping Feindel with his lies. What exactly happened? Six should be enough. Oh. Or eight. Eight works too. Oh, I feel so used. But I believe Alvor has given us his blessing in our quest to become a blacksmith. And now we are heading to the trade hub of Skyrim. Granted, it's to speak with the Jarl on our first day there, but... I mean, I imagine if I want to start a shop, there's this good Places I need to start. My. Her boy lie. That deer kill a rabbit. <sighs> I definitely don't know. Here, hostile. Yeah. I hostile at least. Oh, oops. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly drop the save here. Just in case something goes wrong. Oh. 
Out with it. Something just happened. This guy's being escorted. I have nothing to say to you. Now move along, or I'll order my guards to attack. Guards? Are you being protected by an Imperial? Wait, I know you. You're making a mistake. There's no mistake. You're a wanted man, and it's time to pay for your crimes. But... I... Uh, that book. Good enough. I'll just confiscate any stolen goods you're carrying, then you're free to go. Oh. Okay then. That's good. Um, for the record, I stole it from back there in Riverwood. So you might want to return it down there. Actually, did he even take it? Um, I guess at the very least I can give it to that. Um, might run. Brigands I can handle, but this talk of dragons? World's gone mad, I say. Yeah, mate. I'm guessing that's Dragon's Reach. Something's going on. What is that? Good enough. Watch out. You handle yourself well. You could make for a decent shield, brother. I'm guessing you're the one talking. Shield, brother? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. That's just rude. Um, can I Not join you? Not for me you? to say. You'll have to talk to Codlac Whitemane, up in Yurvaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. <clears throat> he can look in your eyes and tell your worth. Am I trying if to, you go to give him, her a hint? Good luck. Oh, got more to say. Blood on the wind today. Good hunt ahead of us. Companions. All right, then. Now I'll leave hmm? the farms alone. So... Whiterun is a very strange place. <laughs>